Does anyone remember this? Straight from LaMelo Ball's Instagram account, his 2K20 account. We know where he wants to go. That's a walking bucket. What's good? It's your boy, Big Game BG, and the Ball family is dominating the media. Once again, they know when to press the button, my G, and it's right now. Uh, yesterday, the report on signing with Jay-Z and Rock Nation Sports. Now, LaMelo Ball declares for the NBA draft. We already knew that was coming, but the official announcement is today. So the Ball family is just snowballing all the events and making sure they're the talk of the town in which they are again. Now, the draft is upcoming in June, possibly being delayed uh, depending on this coronavirus situation. The picks have not been determined yet, but in the mock draft, it has my Knicks picking sixth, and I, LaMelo Ball is not falling to six. So let me tell you what's going to happen. So sum this up for us. Yes. Your youngest son, if you could pick a spot for him to go first overall in the draft, he would go to which team? What would be the very best fit in your eyes? For him? The, the best fit in my eyes is, is, is New York. The New York Knicks. Okay. Okay. Uh, because I know I, I know Mello. Mello is is a, is a big city guy. He likes the lights. Likes he likes that. Mm. He love it. So everybody's talking about you know the the, the city type of thing. Mm. Uh, Cleveland. He already lived in Cleveland. He don't like that cold weather like that, mm. <laughs> especially if you're not gonna be inside with a lot of bright lights. So so I, I think it's about time for uh, New York. I, I kind of feel they're gonna get the first pick mm. on the fact that they they missed it so many times and it's time for something good to happen okay. to them. I thought they had a great chance last year. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Stick right by. Well, they better massage you like they did with Patrick Ewing ball in 85. Hey, we got to speak that one into existence. We killed two birds with one stone. But New York could be great for him, you know. I think his father would like the bright lights also in New York, right? I, I'm going to have bright lights if I go to, to, to Africa. <laughs> bright lights are going to follow me because that's just who I am. The mellow ball will be a New York Nick, as LeVar has proposed. As LaMelo Ball played his career in 2K20, and he was on the Knicks. So they're putting into existence. Let me spit my isms here. Um, first, the Knicks have needed a point guard since Jason Kidd left. Um, Jason Kidd took us to the playoffs along with Melo, and that was like the last time we really visited the playoffs and won a playoff series. So the Knicks have lacked point guards since that point and even before that point. So point guard has been an essential need. Drafted Frank Nilakina out of France. Hasn't panned out. He's only 20 years old, but he's not a superstar by any means. He's a good defense first point guard, possibly off the bench. So LaMelo Ball fits the mold of joining New York. Now, there are a lot of things New York has lacked, okay? They lack talent. They lack culture. And they lack toughness. That, those were the three things that the New York Knicks organization has been built upon. From Clyde Frazier and the Puma brand initially with the culture to the toughness of the 90s Knicks and the skill of, I guess, those 70s teams. Uh, but the Knicks have been lackluster. You have Kevin Durant taking shots like no one wants to be in New York. Well, that side of New York at least. And the, the organization has been rolled through the mud a lot in part to James Dolan, who does own the team, just got past coronavirus. Um, feel how you want to feel about that. I'm not going to make a comment because it'll sound mean. He won't sell the team. But this pick could change the culture, not so much the toughness, but definitely the skill level that's on the New York Knicks in 2020. Could you imagine LaMelo Ball with R.J. Barrett and Mitch Robinson as your big man? That would be ridiculous. Now, you lose a lot of defense in having LaMelo Ball at point guard. We know that. At least so far has been reported. We don't know how much D he's going to play in the league. Pause. Um, but RJ, defensive player. Mitch, defensive player. So you just got to fill in some of those positions with defensive players to hopefully make up for LaMelo Ball's lack of defense. This guy, more than anything, would change the culture. And that's something with New York and basketball being the mecca, if you believe it or not. Um, what better way 
than for the Knicks now to pass down Spike Lee's old head seats and all that. Um, he had war with the organization before we went on break with coronavirus. What better way for James Dolan to take Spike Lee's seats and give them to LeVar Ball so that Triple B's is always in MSG front row watching LaMelo Ball showcase his skills and hopefully Jello as well. Now, that's a stretch, but I do like just thinking about it. The possibility of LeVar Ball in Spike Lee's seats, oh, man, that would twist a lot of old people up. But Spike Lee was the cause of a lot of negative things in New York. We're talking about the Reggie Miller choke incident. That was Spike, man. Jordan killed us, and Spike did commercials with him. It, it's just we're ready to move on. The new culture move in New York is LaMelo Ball, I hope. There are some moves that the Knicks can make to acquire that number one spot. I don't think he's going to fall further than three. I don't care if they're trying to send a message to the young kid and like that he's not all that because they do do that to um, LeVar Ball and kind of phase, phase him out from time to time, and this could be a recipe for that. But I see just so much in this kid, LaMelo Ball. He's a marketing – he's a brand first – that's going to put people in the seats. You're not going to waste that in like a Memphis or somewhere like that like they did with Ja. The kid knows how to talk to the media. He's been media trained to, since 16 years old. Uh, the kid's got swag. That's in New York. I mean, it's got to be New York. He's media trained, got swag, got style, can play ball, and New York will respect you. Uh, LaMelo is used to criticism, especially with the Lithuania guys right on his head all day with the bull rap posters and all that. He's ready for it, man. The New York Post can try and dig him and his parents, but ultimately that just makes uh, Big Baller brand bigger and bigger, which ultimately is the goal, I think. You know, um, we do want to see LaMelo bring home a championship as well as Lonzo and Jello. It'll be a lot harder in New York as anything. You make it here, you make it anywhere. Uh, but let's talk about other destinations in which LaMelo Ball would make a nice fit. We do like the destination of Detroit. I just don't think, I mean, Detroit, they say, is bouncing back as a city, but I just don't like the fit there in that you're going to waste this media talent in Detroit. Like, Blake Griffin is already very liked by the media, and his brand is just not as big there. It kind of kills off having a superstar style and, you know, swag, all that in Detroit because the media attention is just not there. So... I mean, the Pistons could use him for sure, and they would take him if he's on the board. I'm not even against the Warriors taking him at one. Everyone's saying, oh, the Warriors don't need him. They need someone with Clay and uh, Steph to just step in and win now. I don't know, man. I don't know. The Warriors are a smart organization. As you saw, they swindled that deal for D'Angelo Russell and then dealt him off and swindled uh, the Wolves. I think they would take LaMelo Ball. I think they're taking the best player available. And depending on your scouts and your, you know, what you're looking for, this kid's got all three. He's got marketing behind him. He's got the style, and his game is serious. And he's played against pros already. Uh, other spots we could possibly see him in. Um, I mean, the, the thing is, I, I don't want to place him in different spots because – at the end of the day, we know what he brings to the game. He is the best player available, in my humble opinion, and he also is going to put people in the seats. You hear him? Could he go one? No, it could he? He is going He's one. He's going one. Come on, he gotta go one. I, I, I take this. I say this. Usually, you're gonna take the guy who's most popular. Now, RJ played pretty good. I think he was a little better player than Zion when it started, but Zion's popularity boosted him to one. Yep. How did Jay Morant come from Murray State and be number two? Cause you're the best guard in there. So Melo happens to be both. Mm. He's the most popular and the best guard. Mm. How you don't go number one? If you want your franchise, you got to put people in them seats. Mm. Don't you think, uh, I mean, you're looking at the top five worst records. You're looking at Warriors, Cavs, Wolves, Hawks, Knicks. Right. You think he'd go number one if the Cavs, I mean, not Cavs, uh, the Hawks with Trey? The, the fact of the matter is we could look at any of these guys and I, I could walk down the street and ask people, random people, if they know James Wiseman, they know Anthony Edwards, they know Akongwu, Toppin, 
Havija, however you say half these names. I can't even say them because I didn't watch them. Like, the simple fact is LaMelo Ball's name is by far the biggest. As Lamel, uh, as LaVar said, in the draft, the reason Zion went big or went first was because of the hype. You know what I mean? He's a great player, but the guards always get the higher picks. It's just what it is. And you have a guard that is media trained with style that's going to put people in the seats. I don't see I don't see James Wiseman going over LaMelo Ball for any team. For any team. I know you got a 7-1 man, but man, I'd hate to be that team 20 years from now when that LaMelo Ball documentary drops like Jordan's and the Warriors, the Cavs, the T-Wolves, or teams like this are the ones that made the Sam Bowie pick and passed on a GOAT. Now, I'm kind of stretching there, but to pick a big man at 7-1, it's just it's risky, man. Their legs, everything, you know, like that. Um, but I, I think LaMelo Ball's got to go first, and not even just because LeVar said it and not even just because the hype. He's going to do more for the team financially than even on the court. So that sounds like James Dolan to me, man. LaMelo Ball, what do you think? I think he's going to be a New York Nick whenever we do get this draft underway. We have like seven first-round picks in the next four years. I could see us trading a couple to the Warriors and make it happen, man. We got to have this kid in New York. He's going to be – he is a marketing genius, the big ball of brand taking Spike Lee's seats. I hope you can imagine it. No matter how much you hate my organization, the New York Knicks, this is the right play culturally. This is the right play um, – athletically and obviously marketing wise is just it's a match made in heaven now we've seen these stories go left and who knows he could end up going to the hawks but i, I just don't see it man Lamelo ball to new york